all here because we're sick of seeing the same stuff every day. It's not just sick people. It's not just poor people. It's not immigrants. It's not disabled people. They did not cause austerity, not in any way, shape or form. Yet the BBC persists in telling you that that is what is the case. Every morning, smiling faces of the BBC presenters come on and tell you exactly how shit the NHS is. I don't believe for one second that the National Health Service is anywhere near as bad as Chris Patton makes out. It's his corporation. He's got shares in private health corporations. He's making money out of us as taxpayers. The NHS is not free. We pay our taxes. Every one of you here pays taxes. If you smoke, you pay a tax. If you eat food, you pay a tax. If you buy clothes, you pay a tax. You get on a bus, you pay in tax. You go to work, you pay tax. There's a pension there for you. There's a National Health Service there for you. It's not there anymore. They're selling it off. And the BBC, along with other media corporations, are not joining the dots. We are being lied to. We are being told that things are going on in our interest, for the good of the people. We've got CCTV absolutely everywhere for your safety. How did any of us manage to make it this far in life through the 1970s and 1980s without being on CCTV? They pump out constant programs that are enforced and reinforced for you to get the message. They will give you crime watch. They will give you saints and scroungers. They will give you Britain on the fiddle. But they never, ever look up. That's where the money is going. It's not you. It's not your dad. It's not the sick people or the unemployed. It's being stolen from them at the top. And the BBC gave us live coverage. Anyone here from Manchester that was at the march? Did anybody see the BBC? No. There was a slight gap, yeah. The BBC were reporting what was going on inside that building live on three channels. 75,000 people outside defending the National Health Service. The BBC said G4S would not let us film. <laughs> I'd have gone for a bag myself, even if I didn't smoke. I'd have taken my camera, they'd gone out there and gone, right, this is what the people are saying. They charge you, or they want to charge you, £145 on the premise that you might be watching. I might go to Tesco to buy a loaf of bread, but that's not going to send me a bill for the whole shopping. There's 800 channels out there, all funded in separate ways. We pay for the BBC. In a time of austerity where the, the country is getting poorer, unemployment is going up, but they tell us it's going down. The moving figures around. They are lying. £31 million pound was given last night to children in need. If you want to help someone in need, help them for yourself. Don't do it because some celebrity or some star has told you it's good to give, it's fantastic to give. And then watch them revel in it. Go and grab a homeless person take him for a breakfast. Go down the food bank with a bag of extra shopping and give it to somebody on the door. Don't give it to the people that run it. Because I've done this myself. I've taken a week, I've gone and spent 55 quid on shopping, giving it to the guys, and they go, go to a distribution centre. There's people in it, and they're telling, they were telling the people in there that the food hadn't arrived. I've just brought four bags of shopping with me, the food hasn't arrived. Somebody sat there could have had shopping. It doesn't have to go to a distribution centre. I get the message behind that, shared it anyway. The BBC on food banks. They love to sell you. They'll tell you the story, the food bank is going up, people are using it, but they'll never contextualise it. The news goes like this. Drama, crisis, war, death, destruction, war machine. Celebrity. Lady Gaga's wearing a new steak dress. Now the weather, now someone kicking a ball and you've forgotten what the guy was saying at the start. We don't contextualise the news in any way. It's all move on. Next story, next story, weather.